Today we're going to talk about acids and bases. To understand acids and bases, you have to understand that they are based on water. Probably familiar with the molecule water, H2O, or an O attached to two H's. The molecule of water is important because it's polar, it's off-balanced. The oxygen is just a little bit negative. The hydrogens are just a little bit positive. Now normally, that's no problem, and the molecule stays together. But sometimes, these off-balance charges get so much that the water molecule actually breaks apart. The oxygen will go ahead and keep one of the electrons, leaving a hydrogen all on its own without an electron. Then you have an OH minus and an H plus, or a proton. The OH minus is also known as a hydroxyl ion because it's got a hydrogen and an oxygen. So you have a hydrogen ion and a hydroxyl ion. Now in any given glass of water, some molecules of oxygen of water will fall apart into these two ions, and then they will often come right back together. It's a very small amount, and this doesn't really cause any major problems. This is what we would consider neutral. There are equal amounts of these, and they can easily come together and come apart quickly. Neutral gives us a pH of 7. Now that's because there are 10 to the minus 7, which is a very small amount, hydrogen ions in this liquid. But sometimes there are substances that get off-balanced. They do something that adds extra hydrogen ions to the solution, or if they're mixed with water, they will do something that eats up hydroxyl ions, leaving extra hydrogen ions in the solution. Now, when they're off balance like this, this can be a problem because lots of hydrogen ions, little protons running around, are pretty dangerous. A lot of charged items like that can break through other molecules and cause trouble. So a very strong acid can dissolve other substances. So what's happening is that as the number of hydrogen ions is becoming greater, the amount of them is changing. So instead of 10 to the minus 7 of them, now maybe there's only 10 to the minus 3 of them. That would give us a pH of 3. So the number goes down even though the number of hydrogen ions is going up. Any number below 6 is definitely an acid in biological terms. The reverse can also happen. So you have a substance that adds a bunch of hydroxyl ions, and then that will change the balance. Lots and lots of hydroxyls with lots and lots of negatives. This is just as dangerous as having a high amount of protons. All of those negatively charged oxygens can also break through other molecules. And if you are familiar with lye, which is one of the strongest bases you might encounter, it can burn right through your hand. So with all of these hydroxyl ions, there's way, way less hydrogen ions. So few, in fact, that there might be a significantly lower number, which makes a higher exponent. Therefore, high numbers is what gives us bases. So if you'll remember, acids have a lot of hydrogen ions and very low numbers. Bases, or something alkaline, has lots of hydroxide ions and very high numbers. Of course, the idea in biology is to keep things approximately neutral. So anything between 6 and 8 is pretty close to neutral for biology. If you have an acid with a lot of hydrogen ions, what would you want to do to make it neutral? Well, if you added a base with a lot of hydroxide ions, they would come together and they would make water, which would give you your neutral so if you can combine the hydrogen ions with the hydroxide ions, you can get something neutral. You might also want to have a substance that is a buffer. A buffer can pick up both the hydrogen ions and the hydroxide ions, thereby bringing any substance 
back to neutral. The most common buffer that you are going to encounter in any form of biology is bicarbonate, HCO3 minus. You might be familiar with bicarbonate, especially when it's added to sodium. Sodium bicarbonate is baking soda. It's what we add to certain kinds of foods, like when you're baking cakes, to help balance the pH. It's also found dissolved in blood, water, and pretty much every other biological creature or location that you'll find. HCO3 is great because it can pick up the protons, the hydrogen ions, and mix with the water to help balance out an acid, but it can also release its hydrogen ion and mix up to help with the bases to bring things back to neutral. So that's what you need to know to understand acids and bases in biology.